Hi guys, it's Chris again. Um, so this weekend was a bit of a washout. I think it was raining up and down the country, sort of at least at some point during Saturday and Sunday. Um, I managed to get to one car boot yesterday and I did two today. They were quite small and people had sort of packed up before they even started and I, to be fair I didn't get there at the start of either, either of them. Um, but I still managed to get a few bits. I was quite happy. Um, I didn't have an awful lot of cash to be fair. I'm waiting for Amazon to send some money over to me. Um, I don't like just draining personal account. Um, to fun stuff to be fair I like to try and keep it as separate as possible until it's got the growth to sort of sustain itself properly um, so yeah um, I'll run through a few bits I got I'll start off with like the biggest lot basically that I got um, again if you guys if there's anybody who's sold it before or got any idea of value I'd appreciate it if you could share your knowledge um, I was quite happy with it I'm not sure to be fair I, I'm sure it's worth more than a lot of people um, so yeah I've got the complete every season of Buffy on VHS um, I believe VHS can be worth a bit of money now um, so I thought I'd give it a go so it was basically there is, God knows how many of them, I, I haven't even a clue. There's Buffy and there's Angel. The whole, the whole lot. I won't get them all out, but I'll get a few out so you can see. <laughs> there's an Angel one. I'll have a quick count up now, actually, just whilst it's all in this bag. Some more Buffy. The boxes are in near enough pristine condition a couple of little tiny tiny chewed edges on on them um, but yeah couldn't grumble at all with them um, right so let's have a quick count there are two four six eight ten twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one boxes and they said £20 originally, on the hard, and they ended up saying, give us a tenner for them. So I thought, it's got to be worth a tenner of my money. So, I need to do a bit of research in them, um, whether or not I sell them separately. I sell them as a, a, a massive bundle. I'm not sure. If anyone's sold them before, or seen them listed or anything like that please let me know in the comment section that would be great um so yeah that was quite good i saw it was actually it was a day for vhs's i, I went out this weekend and i, I thought i don't want to sell i, I don't want to buy too much too much media stuff or dvds in particular because i've kind of narrowed everything down to dvds so i'm trying to broaden myself again um so I actually stumbled across quite a few VHSs. Um, I did pick up, pick up a, a couple of DVDs, but because they were brand new sealed box sets. So I'll just run through it. I'll just get them again. Um, I haven't got enough space where I work to and, and do the videos to have them all set out ready to do this. They have to be on the shelves. So first off, I got some blanks. We all know there's good resale value in them. So there's, what, uh, seven of those, seven blanks. Um, I think I paid one pound twenty for the seven of them. Um, and then two sealed box sets. Um, they're DVDs, alias. They hold about 10 or 15 quid. Um, if you get it on at the right time on Amazon, and again I paid one pound fifty uh, per box set, so I was happy with that. Um, and then someone said to me that Disney VHSs can be worth a bit of money, and this guy had 
a few VHSs on his stall and he wanted a pound for the lot of them. So I just took the lot. Um, and if I end up giving them back to a charity shop at some point, well then, I've not lost out on I tend to give to charity shops as well, once I've let them buy stuff and, and it's not right or, and I, you know, if I made it, if I had a, a good month, I tend to go in and drop them a few quid, because you know, at the end of the day, without them, I wouldn't be making the money to start with. Um, so, this one's in, the box is in pretty awful condition, but the individual boxes are quite good. It's the Alan Partridge. Um, box set. So again, I've got no idea on value on any of these. Um, got a Rocky, 101 Dalmatians. The boxes are a little bit grubby, but I'm sure they've come up fine with a bit of a uh, clean. Cats and dogs. That's a Warner Brothers one. Another Warner Brothers. A Little Princess. Um, Flintstones, boxes chewed on that edge. Spy Kids, um, Titanic, the cuppy money in that, I don't know. It's got the original little bits on the inside, tapes in cracking condition. Beauty and the Beast. Blues Brothers, Willow, it's a cracking film that, absolutely cracking film. It's got um, Warwick Davis in it and Val Kilmer when they were a lot younger. Um, Walt Disney's Atlantis, it's a nice look, nice Disney case that actually, it's got the little Mickey Mouse ears in. Uh, Madeline, Madeline, Annie, and the borrowers. So, I don't really know. We've got to be worth a couple of quid each, I suppose. I haven't got a clue. Um, possibly more for one or two. Whether or not it's something that's worth keeping hold of in the future or just get rid of them, I don't know. So, I'll have a look at them. Um, Board games, got a couple of board games, new sealed. Got one, this was from a charity shop, Articulate Your Life. It's like a variation of Articulate. RRP is about 30 quid on it, um, but Amazon at the moment have got it on sale a little bit. Here's the dog again to say hello. He likes to say hello, don't you? Um, and then make a lot of noise. So I think Amazon got that on sale at the moment for about 15 quid. Um, so I'll hold out until Amazon send their prices back up, or I'll just hold out to Christmas, sell it at Christmas. Um, and then there's this one, I paid a pound for Make Your Own Monopoly. Um, how that actually works, I don't really know. Print your own. Okay. So you go online, take pictures, go online, print them off. And then you can stick them onto certain things. Looks quite cool, actually. So that's that. Ugh. And then I watched a guy in America um, discuss soft toys, and I always just bypass these, thinking they're just tat. <laughs> Um, there's no value in them. Kids snuggled them, cuddled them, and whatever else. But this guy put over a good case that they're actually worth a fair bit of money if we get the right ones. Um, yes, dogs. Yes, look, cuddly toys. Right, can you please leave me alone now? <laughs> right, so I'll just run down quickly. These are all um, original ones. So, Chef Winnie, it's in lovely condition. I don't even think I'll have to clean this one up. Um, it's got this little tag and authenticity. 
um, he was 20 pence. Taz paid 50 pence. And I've looked online, he's got his little tags again. Um, and that's about 10, 10 to 15 pounds for Taz. He, he is a 1999, no, 1994, actually. I was doing a man of justice, he's an older guy than I thought he was. Um, so I'm quite happy with that. Mickey. Now, no tag on this one or anything. Um, nothing on his feet. But on the label, it is from Disneyland Paris. So... I'm hoping that holds some sort of weight. Um, and then there's a thumper. All of these I paid less than a pound for. So um, he's quite a big, big little dude. Um, this one's got the Disney Store exclusive sticker on. And this one is from the Disney Store Hammersmith. So, hoping there's a bit of money in that one. This guy, not sure if he does anything. I think he takes batteries. Uh, yeah, he takes batteries. Uh, bum, ba -dum, bum, bum. Trying to find a switch to see, but well, there is no switch. Just needs new batteries in him, I think. So I'll put batteries in him and have a look. Um, there's a little bit of marking on him, but I'll clean that up. Um, there's a little bit of marking around the eyes. The eyes are like these plastic ones, and I'll probably just get like a sharpie and just fill in the little tiny scratches. And then this guy, Horrid Henry. Now this has seriously surprised me. It's got a little bit of a dangly thread there, which I'll sort out. Um, I clean them up nice, and other than a little bit of grub, he's in really good condition. Now I did. I was going to give this to my daughter. This I thought I was check before I give it to him because I did actually get her like a toy from Doc McStuffins. So I thought, well. Um, so I checked, and these are classed as a rare item on eBay. Everyone has like rare on their listings, and they listed on for anywhere up to thirty-five pound. Um, he makes all sorts of. Out of my way, worm. So he's quite cool, actually. You might, might put him as a mascot. Uh, but yeah. So there's, there you go. Adventured into the soft toys, and I've uh, hopefully come out smelling of roses. A um, couple of DS games from a charity shop. Um, paid a pound each for them. Disney ones. These are the first DS games I've actually bought. Um, I've never, that's one thing I've never actually managed to find, a proper DS bundle. Um, whether or not I'm always too late at the stores, I don't know, but there you go. Uh, yeah, so I think there's about 8 to 10 pound in them, possibly more. Uh, and then, off the same store, I've already got quite a few of these, and I've got a listing going already on Amazon. Um, the SingStar microphones for the PlayStation. This one came as a bundle with the um, software. These two just on their own. All with everything. Um, and they're selling FBA on Amazon, $17.99. I've got six, six sets of those now. Um, I don't know how they did the pricing again or how they came to the final result on the pricing, but um, that was marked up at £6 and I said, well, how many have you got? 
and he went rummaging around. He thought he had more. Um, he only had the three. So I said, and I'd spotted he'd had golden eye as well. And I said, well, I'll take golden eye as well. How much do you want for the lot? And he said, ten pound. So I snapped his hand off because that on its own, clean it up, um, check it's working, and that without a box is worth about 15 quid. If I get a box, I can push push for 30 quid for it. Um, so yeah, and those are selling on Amazon for 17 quid FBA. So yeah, and that was from a guy who, who regularly sells, he does all the boots, boot sales every weekend, um, and he, he specifies in games and sort of vintage stuff and accessories and stuff like that. Um, so, how he's, I don't know what was going through his mind, to be fair. So there you go. He obviously isn't aware of how much they can sell online, or he just doesn't want to go through the hassle of it, I don't know. So yeah, oh, I picked this up, um, <clears throat> just on a whim, I didn't really, I've got no idea about it, don't know what they are, um, I've sort of heard the name, but I've never really paid any attention, it's a, a Yu-Gi-Oh! Wax collection, whatever Wax are, than these little, I'll get one out, show you in case you've not seen so it comes in these little, like double sided boxes so you've got your collection on that side and then your collection on that side now there's not an awful lot of them guys that's it there's not an awful lot of them um so i don't know someone might just want it for the box or whatever but they're basically just these little plastic things with uh, hold it right focus no it's picked up me too much there you go possibly little stickers on them it's upside down there you go um yeah so i might keep hold of it and see if i can find some more to make the collection up or just sell it as it is not really no I'll have a look, do some research into it and see what's the best way of dealing with that. So that was me. That's everything I got got this weekend. Car boots and uh, charity shops. Not an awful lot of stuff, but I've sort of spread myself out a bit um, to try and diversify a bit more. So yeah, um, if you like liking the videos, please subscribe. Like, comment, tell your friends, and I'll uh, see you soon. Cheers, guys.